Hey everybody, you know what time it is. It's my favorite day of the week. New Comic Wednesday, September 25th, 2019. I'm Tony Varela. This is my co-host Yogi. And you're watching Comic TV. What do you say, Yogi? You ready to do this, buddy? Let's do it. All right. Got a really nice comic day coming at you today. Just stayed under my budget of 100 bucks. Just did it, and I got a nice Vampirella box to boot. So uh, I'm gonna start out with Marvel today. I usually start out with my independent comics, but uh, I'm gonna switch it up. Got the absolute carnage, Miles Morales with a Clayton Crane cover. Really been liking these tie-ins. Uh, normally I avoid the tie-ins, such as War of the Realms. They usually seem pretty inconsequential, uh, but this absolute carnage stuff is really good. Uh, we got Saladin Ahmed doing the writing, and we got Federico Vincenti doing the art on that book, and it looks pretty good. Definitely one I'm excited to read. We got next up, Avengers. This is number 24. Of course, it's written by Jason Aaron, always doing a great job. And we got Caselli doing the art on the interiors and the covers on that book. We got the uh, Ghost Rider war going on right now, so a lot of cool stuff. Ghost Rider is mega hot right now. Speaking of mega hot, this Fearless cover by Jenny Friesen is beautiful. Now this is a connecting cover. This is number three of four, but uh, Friesen's work is great. If you watch my channel at all, you know I'm a huge fan of hers. So uh, we got various artists doing the uh, writing and art in that book, and uh, really pretty much the interiors are crap. But we do have the first appearance of Ghost Cats. Ram. All right. Next up, beautiful cover by Jorge Molina. And this is Ghost Rider number two. And uh, Shannon McGuire is doing the writing on that. And Takeshi Miyazawa is doing the art on the interiors. And uh, decent story in the, uh, the first one I read. I'm also still waiting, uh, or I just uh, received my uh, Spider-Gwen uh, Shannon Meyer variant I showed you last week. Uh, but also I've got some more Shannon Meyers on the way as well. Next up, we got Marvel Comics presents number nine. Charles Sewell's doing the writing on this, and uh, we got Dio Neves and Paulo Segura doing the art inside, and uh, that is the Raza cover, and that is mostly a cover by, and if you look over there, you see Deadpool kind of pulling his way off of the New Mutants 98 cover. Pretty sick stuff. Strike Force number one, new title, new team up. This is written by Teeny Howard and uh, Herman Peralta is doing the art inside. And I got the Diodato Jr. cover. And there was a few decent covers on that, but uh, looking at the interiors of that book, uh, man, that art is uh, not good, Yokes. Not good at all. Uh, there is a first appearance in this book, and uh, it's uh, Count Ophidian, the Serpent Prince. One of the hottest titles going right now. I definitely recommend you are on the House of X and Powers of X. This is number five of six. R.B. Silva is doing the cover and interior art on that. And of course, Jonathan Hickman bringing the Max Men back, baby. Woo! Loving that X Men stuff right now. That title is dope. And uh, Laraz is doing a great uh, job on the art on the other title as well. So can't wait to see where that ends up. So from DC, we got Batman Curse of the White Knight, written, drawn, and cover art by Sean Murphy. And uh, I really love the first series. This one has been excellent as well. I was really uh, wondering how they were gonna follow that up and great premise on that book. So uh, Detective 1012, Peter Tomasi, always doing a great job on this. Much better job than Tom King's doing on Batman, that's for sure. And we finally got us some Doug Mankey back. He had taken quite a hiatus, leaving the art duties to uh, Kyle Hotz and Brad Walker and others. Uh, this is a Gillum March regular cover. And man, one of the best titles going right now. This, this uh, number one blew me away, but this is Batman Superman number two. Joshua Williamson doing a great job on the writing. We got David Marquez doing the art and Woo-wee, his art is good. Oh my God, it's so good. Uh, very similar to the art on uh, Heroes in Crisis. Uh, I'm forgetting that guy's name right now, but it'll come to me. And uh, this is the uh, Marquez regular cover as well. There was a variant on that. So uh, 
really missed out on basically two titles today that I'm really butthurt about, but especially this one. Uh, this is the uh, first crossover appearance of Naomi, and this is Superman Action Comics 1015. Brian Michael Bendis, of course, doing the writing on that, and we got Simon Kudransky doing the art. And I love Simon Kudransky. He does uh, Punisher, and he also does Spawn from time to time. His art is dark and delicious. We got David Marquez doing the cover art on that bad boy. And another big hitter from Jenny Friesen. My God, look at that Wonder Woman cover. Woo! Yogs! Woo, man, Jenny Friesen is killing it. We got uh, G. Willow Wilson's doing the writing on that, and Scott Eaton doing the art. I love it either, but it's been decent of late, and we got Cheetah running around with a God Killer sword, and uh, she's wreaking havoc and stabbing people and guts and stabbing. Uh, so, normally that's a cover by just because of these freezing covers. However, uh, that book's been pretty good lately. So, uh, from DC Dark, we got Harleen number one. Harleen, Harleen. So, uh, there was a regular cover that was nice, uh, but I got this cover B because of the, uh, she's deep, deep, double P popping. Double P popping. She's pistol popping and pooty popping on a handstand. So, you know. Stepan Sajak, love this guy's art. He's also doing the writing on it, uh, but thumbing through that book, it is not as, uh, not his best, best art. Like, I've really seen him go to town, but uh, still pretty good. I'm anxious to see uh, uh, how they develop Harge Harley's origin story and all that, but uh, I, was, I was hoping for just a little bit more out of Stepan. But we'll see where it goes. I'll tell you what, I'm also hoping for some regular size black labels. We got the Batman Curse of the White Knight black label. It's regular size. Well, I gotta have this big giant book. It's not like the art is so intricate that you just need that extra size. I mean, my eyes are bad too, so. Let's see if I can get this straightened up here for you. Oh, oh. All right. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. So, uh. I can get my crap together here. I'll show you some Faithless. Number six of six, we got Brian Azzarillo doing the writing on that and Maria Lovett doing the art. And I'm trying my best to cover up some of the naughty bits on this erotic cover, but that's Tula Lote, baby. Woo, she's doing a good job. She also had a variant for uh, Tommy Gun Wizards, but I'll talk about that as well. Almost got that one, but I waited for the regular cover, but I'll get into that. So uh, from Broadsword Comics, we got Tarot, Witch of the Black Road, it's number 118, and obviously that's a cover by, pretty sexy stuff there, and uh, Jim Ballant, Jim Ballant is doing the uh, writing, the art, the cover, all that, doing a good job, very sexy, and uh, I thought I picked that title up before, and I don't remember it being as uh, salacious as that one, but uh, some giant lizard person sucks off all of her clothes, and she pretty much uh, runs around the whole issue naked, so there you go. <clears throat> Tommy Gun Wizards number two from Dark War, uh, Dark Horse Comics. We got Christian Ward doing the writing on that. We got Sammy Cavella doing the art. And uh, I told you about the Tula Lote cover. Uh, she also has another cover I'll be showing you today as well. Red Sony and Vampirella meet Betty and Veronica. That's Amy Chua doing the writing, assorted artists. There's literally seven artists on this book. Why, I have no idea, but it's never a good sign. Uh, Faye Dalton is doing the cover, and that is the only reason, the only reason I bought that book. So uh, this was, uh, Image got this title from somebody else. Uh, it was originally going to be re released by a different company, but uh, I got that and read it already, and uh, it's pretty risque, but a cool, cool premise. Uh, we got Tina Horn doing the writing on that, Michael D Dowling, Michael Dowling doing the art on that, and uh, Tula Lote cover, baby. Woo! I'll tell you what, I've been trying to pub these Valiant titles because there's a lot of good stuff, some deep writing, and I don't know if this has got deep writing, but man, that Brett Booth art, woo wee, it's sick, man, it's sick, just bullets flying, really, really good stuff. Art that you would expect from a main title like DC or uh, Marvel, but man, for uh, Valiant to be getting some talent like that, man, big ups to them. Tim Seeley's doing the writing on that, Brett Booth doing the art, and that is the cover C by Hannah Templer. And uh, there's also an error cover on this Bloodshot. Apparently the blank 
uh, cover it was made with some some uh, type of surface that is not easy to sign or draw on so they've recalled those so if you can get them maybe it might be a little speculation uh, plot for you uh, speaking of plot we got the plot number one from vault comics tim daniel doing the writing on that we got martin marici doing the uh, excuse me tim daniel and martin marici doing the writing we got joshua hickson doing the art and that is the cover a hickson and uh the only other book i was but heard about today was that uh swamp thing first appearance uh variant cover i wasn't able to pick that up but i got somebody holding one for me so hopefully i'll be able to grab it and uh from xenoscope Grim Fairy Tales number 31, Dave Francini doing the writing on that. We got Hernan Casillos doing the art. And obviously I got that for the George, Josh George bondage cover. So uh, see some titles that came out today that I didn't get. I didn't get the uh, Ryan Benjamin 1 in 50 Strike Force. Didn't get the uh, plot variant. I didn't get the uh, Perillo for Action Comics. So if you're out and about looking, those are definitely ones you should keep an eye out for. Uh, Bad Reception number two was out. We had a Black Panther kind of venomized looking cover that was dope. Also, there was three wraparound covers that I passed on. Some have been better than others of those. Captain America had one, Miles Morales. Uh, we also had a Strike Force one of the Winter Soldier. And uh, Dark Horror, excuse me, Dark Crystal had a one per store variant from Christian Ward that looked beautiful. Going for around 20 bucks, maybe a little more. So I almost grabbed that one. And then also Amazing Spider-Man came out today with Nick Spencer and Ryan Otley both back and full time on it. And they're just destroying that book. By far the worst uh, Spider-Man title going right now. And for ASM, a flagship title to be doing that, it's disgusting. Disgusting with that title. So uh, I think it's three issues now I've boycotted that title. So uh, I'm gonna keep doing it until some goes on or until they switch artists or you know until I absolutely have to get it because of uh, you know a big happening or something uh, but there was a 1 in 25 codex variant that looked pretty good but I passed on that as well uh, Justice League Dark had a Clayton Crane variant uh, New Mutants came out today with uh, Bill Sinkowitz doing the art inside and I looked through that and man just kind of looked like a mess so I passed up on that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers had a blue hologram cover and a foil cover rather. And uh, New Relics was out today. There was a Spider-Man Velocity out today. Red Hood had a first appearance of a character called Monster Arm. Is that like a baby's arm? I don't know. Is it, maybe it's bigger than a baby's arm. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, Batman Beyond number 36 had a first appearance. Uh, first uh, cameo appearance of Batgirl Beyond or Batwoman Beyond. And uh, let's see, oh, Marvel Comics Presents, I forgot to mention, had a first or second appearance of a digital Logan. I don't know what the hell all that's about. I got it mainly for that Raza cover, so. Anyway, hey man, that's it. I got a haul video coming up with about 50 comics I'm gonna show you that I got a nice buy on, a lot of uh, minor keys, uh, uh, some first appearances, and uh, some uh, nice cover art I wanna show you, so be looking out for that. Look down, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your kids, tell your wife every Wednesday to watch Comic TV. And if you uh, hit that subscribe button, you'll be notified as soon as I post this up so you can get this information as quick as possible. So uh, that's me and Yogi signing off. We'll see you next time.